Welcome to this introduction on the Hypermedia Director software. The Director, or HMD, is composed of three panels. The Preview panel, that shows you the content. The Browsing panel, that shows you the, the content of the folders. And the Editing panel, to edit like playlist or property of the document. The Preview panel lets you browse the content, move backwards and forwards in time, change the dates if you are using scheduling, and view the content at different dates. You can also control the orientation of the preview to be horizontal or vertical. This lets you work with vertical layout, for instance. You can also cons control the aspect ratio using different aspect ratio like the 4 3rd of 69 to work directly in the same aspect ratio as your screen. The workspace is by default composed of three elements, a list of device, a list of projects, and a list of templates. The templates are a collection of files like predefined files like arrows, um, other document news feeds, and so on, that are pre-designed by Spinetix to help you create new content. You can browse between multiple locations by using the tab browsing. The My Device is made to group the list of devices available to be controlled by HMD. HMD offers a basic software management to manage device, to view device existing on your network, to view if there are variables or not, to browse the internal content of the device, and to have a snapshot of what is being displayed on the device. By using the Discover button like we just did, you can discover all the device available on the networks and add them automatically to HMD. Here we have now three device. You can organize the device into collections or groups. Just drag and drop device into a collection to copy them. It's really like handling like a files. In this case, we have two devices to work with. If you want to start with content, you're going to start with a project. Create a new project. Choose the right aspect ratio. Rename the project to give it a name that will help you to understand what's in it. Then double click on it or press the right click open button. The project is composed of a single file by default which is the index.svg. This is the master file. This is the file that tells the player where to start its content. We're going to work with a new document and we're going to rename it main.svg. That will be our main scene layout. We're going to open it and now we're going to create the document. The first step is to go to my template and select a background to the document. A background can be a preset background or you can use your own image. Drag and drop the background into your, your layout to copy it into your project and into your document. By pressing the save button, the snapshot of the main.svg file is updated. Next step is to import images or media. You can open an explorer window and drag and drop file from explorer. The files are imported automatically in the HMD and a snapshot is created. Drag and drop the image into the document to add it. You can see that the magnet is red, meaning that if you drag the document now, it will replace the background. By pressing the control key, you, you change the action from replace to add. You can move and resize the document. Pressing the control key will ensure that the aspect ratio of your document is not modified. Now we're going to import more media files, like a video files. Drag and drop the video into the HMD. HMD will copy the video and make sure that the video format is supported by the player. You can drag and drop the video. If you go drag and drop here, it will replace. You can lock the background layer so that it cannot be replaced anymore. By default, the video is not visible because it finished its playing time. So we restart the playing from the beginning. And now we're going to check the property of the video and make sure it repeats forever. The final step of the editing, it will be to add a text layer on top of it. For that, we're going to press the plus T button, move the text layer. By pressing the control key, we're going to resize the text area and we're going to type our text directly into the text box. You can see that the text is directly edited in the preview window don't have complicated way to make sure that the text looks like you want. You can select part of the text and modify its color for instance. The color and the fonts and the size can be edited on a character basis so it can really, you can really make the layout of your text the way you want. 
different fonts are supported by the HMD you can add new fonts to the player by creating a font folder into your project note that we have a first layout we need to open the index.svg and tell it that what it needs to play is our main document now that we've told the player what to do we're gonna go and take our project open the list of devices and we're gonna drag and drop the project into the device where you want to publish the document this in effect we copy all five from the project to the device and making sure that the device start displaying it we can open the device to browse the content of its internal hard drive or press the camera button or the snapshot button to get a snapshot of what is being displayed in the player the snapshot is automatically updated every 10 seconds in HMD so we can see the change of the video after 10 seconds now in order to add some motion in a document you can see that if we open the main document you can see that we had an image on the right let's replace that by a playlist of images we're gonna create a new playlist open it and then we're gonna add a set of images to our playlist document we're gonna go to the property tab of the playlist and we're gonna change the transition which is by default a fade with a duration of one second we're gonna use a wipe down for instance as a transition between the images we can also select the slide durations by default it's five seconds but we can put three seconds and we can modify the duration of the transition finally press the save or the apply button to see the effect of your change now that we've created the playlist we're going to open the main document I'm going to take the playlist and replace the image by the playlist in HMD every image can be replaced by a playlist or by a video and every video can be replaced by a playlist or a scheduling on an image all things are media and they can be interchanged to make sure that the project has been published correctly we reopen the device and we have the snapshot to see the effect of the playlist every 10 seconds again the snapshot will be updated and we can see that actually the image is changing and it's this corresponds to a layout this is the end of this presentation on the introduction on HMD thank you for following it